Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you the first third-party accessory that I bought for my Festool Domino DF500, and that is the Bigfoot from TSO. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the packaging for the TSO Products Bigfoot DBF45 version 2.0, and this is the version uh, that came out in 2000. 2020, 2021, and this is for both Dominoes, uh, the DF500 as well as the DF700 XL. And as far as other interesting things on the packaging, so you can get free downloadable plans for this auxiliary fence, and it does come with the hardware to attach this to it, and you can even see it in the picture there. Um, what else does it have? So easy on off star knobs, uh, big T handle for control, and that's one of the things that I'm really quite liking about this, the large viewport. So you can see through to the lines that are marked on the domino, which are very precise. And as far as other things, so yeah, can fit inside the sustainer. And yeah, let's take a look at what's inside. So there's not too much that comes in the packaging. A little information card to go to TSO's website to get product details. And then in this nice protective bag, we have, so before getting to the Bigfoot itself, it does come with four M6 screws for mounting to that auxiliary fence, as well as a couple set screws for drilling precision holes uh, in the plywood or whatever other material you're using. And then we have the Bigfoot itself and just made just like every other TSO product, just top notch quality. I do have the uh, TSO parallel guides for my Festool track saw, which I absolutely love. Just the quality, the precision, just so many things uh, to, to really kind of love about this. And it attaches super easily to the domino. And what I found when using the support bracket provided, or that came in the domino set, is that when you're dealing with something this precise, you just get it close, and then it basically like lines itself up. So just so precise with how they've milled these holes. Now let's get that one in. And you can see it here just the difference, not just in the surface area, which is approximately double on the TSO Bigfoot. So it is just under 12,000 square millimeters, whereas the Festool support bracket is just under 6,000. So you're more than double the surface area, but not only that, you get this handle. So this T handle just gives you that ability to hold this whole system just so nicely. Whereas the one that was included from Festool was kind of like you, you had to like get your fingers in there, then you're getting close to the cutters. And I know that it's a relatively safe tool and you're not getting that close to the cutter, but I just never felt comfortable like getting my fingers in there. I felt like I was gonna slip. So yeah, that, that stability is just what is absolutely amazing about this. So. Now let's drop the fence and I'm going to show you how I will typically be using the Bigfoot in my shop. Okay, so I'm going to drop the fence to 90 degrees and the main use case for me is going to be doing the domino mortises along the edge of the board. And there are ways to do this where you wouldn't have to worry about any sort of support bracket. You could do it on the, the surface of your table and essentially what that involves is essentially mounting a board that is, again, these, these don't match the plywood here, but I just wanted to show you for illustrative purposes. You basically align it like this, take off that board, then you can position the domino and cut your mortises this way. And you could put a board down here just to, to support that. Again, this would all be pushed onto the table, of course, but that would be one way that you could, could completely bypass using something like the Bigfoot. But for me, in the limited time I've had my domino, I like to reference uh, from the plate itself. And what's awesome about this is there, got registration, I can plunge down. And look, I don't even, right now, I'm not holding the domino itself, I'm just holding the TSO Bigfoot. So the stability that you get from this, which also allows you to know that you're getting it to be absolutely square into that space. So if you weren't using this, sometimes I found that the rockiness, I didn't know if I was getting a perpendicular cut to the um, workpiece, but just being able to, to hold and put essentially all of the, all of my weight or not all my weight, but kind of all the support for the tool needed on that T handle and then plunge down just makes this an absolute dream to use. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing any cuts on this video. I think that this kind of illustrates that a couple things I do want to point out on here is, um, the cursors so it is nice that there are essentially four cursors on here that you can reference and they do seem the the main one right there does seem in my experience 
to line up absolutely perfectly to the milled, um, milled markers and the, um, the index on there. So it, it aligns perfectly with, with what is already on the domino. And then there are also three additional cursors. There's one over here, one over here, and then one up at the top. And these two on the side allow you to scribe a line and then align directly to that. So if I... <laughs> so if I move um, that plate back and I see my line right here, I can essentially get it lined up on that side, lined up on that side with no parallax effect at all. You don't have to worry about the shadows and then I can plunge down. So it is super nice to be able to have those four cursors on there. The build quality of this is fantastic. It's not a cheap product by any means. There's nothing mechanical about it, but this is something that's just gonna make my life with the Domino so much easier. And if you have the Domino 500 or 700, I'd recommend checking it out. If you have one uh, and you use it a lot, let me know in the comments below how you use it, if it's different at all from what I've mentioned. And I also know that there are a lot of people that have bought this and then have found other ways to cut dominoes along the edge that um, really haven't required the, um, the Bigfoot. So anyways, I'm excited to have it. I think it's gonna make the tool a little easier for me to use at the moment. And we'll see how I'm using it in a few months once I get through some cabinet projects. But I'm happy I bought it and uh, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.